Order on. Parade rest. Order on. Parade rest. Let us pray. Gracious Almighty and merciful God, as the soldiers, families, and friends of Task here, that we meet to fight to find unity and victory in the days ahead, grow strong, resilient, and persevere through all these things. Grant force, but to our families, friends, and loved ones, so that we might be reunited and reestablish a strong bond of fellowship and support upon our return. And finally, Almighty God, lend to us your strength, that we might have the strength to carry out our mission, increase our spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical strength as we lean on you and one another to accomplish our mission that as iron sharpens iron, we too might sharpen one another in the days to come. We ask these things in the name that is above every name. Amen. Infantry, Alpha Battery 108, Field Artillery, Charlie Troop, 2nd and 104th Cav Squadron, Golf Company, 328th BSB, to join the associators of HHC, 1st and 111th, and Charlie Company from Kutztown, 1st and 111th. But for the rest of your lives, you will be members of the 111th Infantry Regiment forever. Most importantly, welcome to the friends and families of these heroes that stand out here before us. So welcome, families. It's an honor to share a few thoughts with you before you depart on your journey. As the Commanding General of the oldest continually serving infantry division in the United States Army, and having commanded the 111th Infantry Battalion and the 56th Striker Combat Brigade. This is truly special. You should know that your unit has fought in almost every war and conflict since the Revolutionary War through the Global War on Terror. I'm sure you know that. In my service, I've seen this unit deploy to Kosovo, Iraq, and conduct international partner training exercises in Germany, France, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, Poland, Canada, North Macedonia, and others that I've missed also. You've never failed. You've always excelled. It's not accidental that your commander, Lieutenant Colonel Dave Fittipaldi, and your CSM, Sergeant Major Charles Trofe, plan to execute this ceremony in this historic location where General Washington and the Continental Army encamped for six months from Christmas 1777 through the summer of 1778 to consolidate, reorganize, and retrain the force. Ironically, the founder of your regiment, Ben Franklin, at the same time was negotiating in Paris in order to secure essential treaties of military support and he obtained those in February of 1778 while Washington and his troops were sweating it out and suffering here. Not literally sweating. You start another journey for the 111th Infantry Regiment, your brigade, the 20th Infantry Division and the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. You deploy to East Africa which is arguably one of the poorest governed and least secure places on the planet. Terrorism flourishes in Al-Shabaab and other Al-Qaeda affiliates. Piracy in the Gulf of Aden continues as to kidnapping and murders of U.S. citizens. Rampant poverty exists throughout much of the region. But this region is vital to America's security because of its strategic location and international trade as we continue to compete with our adversaries to deter aggression. I'm jealous of everyone on the field in front of me deploying as you will have the opportunity to perform the job you've trained in and make history with your unit. You'll be received by friends of Horn of Africa first deployment eagerly awaiting your arrival. Many of them also from the 111th Infantry and the 2nd and 112th Infantry. You'll bond with your fellow soldiers from Illinois and Puerto Rico who round out your 1,100 person battalion. You will train with foreign partner forces and other small American units. You'll have opportunities to grow financially, emotionally, increase your physical fitness, 
and potentially consider some other positive life changes for you and your family. You're part of the Army's relatively new concept of modernizing and transforming law and contact. You will field systems that are not currently in use even by the battalion there now to protect your forces, to locate threats quickly, and target them precisely. Time will go fast as you pass through places like Texas, New Mexico, continue on to Africa, conduct a relief in place with your friends, execute mission, conduct operations, conduct a relief in place with the next SEC 4 battalion, return through Texas, and then come back to your friends, family, and units in Pennsylvania. It'll go fast, I promise. Take pictures so you remember what only a fraction of 1% of Americans will ever do. Deploy to a foreign nation, serve in a combat zone, and serve your country faithfully. And keep your social media posts uh, relatively clean. I'm proud of all of you. I'll stay in touch continuously with Colonel Fittipaldi and Sergeant Major Trofe. I'll see you in Texas, I'll see you in Africa, and I look forward to welcoming everyone home next year. And as always, Associators, no steps backward. Thank you, Major General Wegscheider. I'm actually uh, very surprised that the weather has held out today because I feel every time this task force, task force goes out and does something, whether it's training, whether it's IDT, it is raining. So uh, thankful that the weather has held out. Uh, good afternoon, distinguished leaders, uh, families, friends, and guests of uh, Task Force Associator. Uh, welcome to Valley Forge National Park. Uh, I want to thank everyone for being here today to honor the men and women of Task Force Associator as we embark on our deployment to Africa. It is truly a privilege to stand here today representing just a fraction of the 685 soldiers from Pennsylvania and the 1,135 soldiers that will be a part of Task Force Associator. I have witnessed firsthand uh, the hard work that these soldiers have put in over the last year preparing for this deployment. It was certainly not easy, uh, but we have trained hard. Task Force Associator consists of soldiers from across many different units, spanning across the state of Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Puerto Rico. Our task force mission is threefold. First is security cooperation, second crisis response, and third protection of U.S. interests throughout Djibouti, Somalia, and Kenya. This mission is critical to our national defense strategy. Considering this, we have had a very rigorous training schedule. I can stand here today confident that this task force is properly trained, prepared, and ready to execute our mission in Africa. I wanna personally thank the families of this task force. The sacrifice that you have all made will never go unnoticed. Trust between families in this organization is extremely important to me. Here are my guarantees to you, the families. First, I am an empathetic leader, but I am not soft. I guarantee that I will continue to train your soldiers as hard as I can, that they will be prepared and have the confidence to face any obstacle in theater. Two, family members will always have a direct line to myself and my command sergeant major. If questions at the company FRG level go unanswered, please reach out. There is nothing worse than a family member stuck in the unknown. We as a task force will try to and get ahead of these situations through constant communication via monthly newsletter, social media engagement, and monthly town halls. And finally, I will, all, I will always be honest with you and your soldiers. Trust me, uh, deployments ebb and flow. There will be some high highs and some low lows. What is critical is that we all work together as one team and as one associator family. To the soldiers of Task Force Associator, uh, similar to what uh, General Wegstrider just said, there was a reason why I chose this location for our departure ceremony. It was here at Valley Forge where the Continental Army led by George Washington encamped during that winter of 1777 to 1778. 
At this point, during the American Revolution, the Continental Army was still largely made up of a bunch of different colonial militias. But it was here at Valley Forge where they emerged as a cohesive and disciplined fighting force. Similarly, this task force is made up of soldiers from the, across the state of Pennsylvania. We came together on very short notice a short time ago and have emerged as a cohesive fighting force, ready to take on whatever comes our way. I am beyond proud to lead this organization, continue the hard work, stay focused, and be proud. No steps backwards. At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Fittipaldi will join the Command Sergeant Major of the Task Force, Command Sergeant Major Charles Trophy, to case the battalion colors. The battalion colors of the 111th Infantry lies by the colors which our soldiers serve, shine as a guiding beacon into the future. The essence of the casing ceremony is an event marked by tradition, honor, respect, and sacrifice. The colors will be uncased when the task force arrives in the Horn of Africa. Tradition holds that the colors lead the unit into battle, emphasized by the regulation instructions to color bearers, which states, when in action, resolve not to part with the colors, but with your life. The soldier entrusted with responsibility of protecting the colors is the unit command sergeant major. By casing the colors, the task force commander officially declares task force associator is prepared to deploy to the Horn of Africa. Lieutenant Colonel Fittipaldi will now rejoin the official party. For their service to the Commonwealth and our country, we wish you all the best on your upcoming deployment. Please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the benediction and remain standing for the... <laughs> Um, I can't, is Jen here or do you want to find it? 